What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Mike here. Today, I have a Patreon request from Meg Wick. She's like, can you go do Demi Lovato dancing with the devil? I'm like, sure. She's like, warning, it's very deep. I'm like, oh, okay, because I've never went Demi Lovato. Let's put that one on. Bro, I couldn't name a Demi Lovato song for a billion dollars, but now I can. Um, so, only one way to find out what this is all about, right? So, Demi Lovato, Dancing with the Devil, let's see what you got. Let's go. Alright, I just set up the video and I can already see a warning. This video contains content depicting addiction, drug use, trauma, sexual abuse, which may be triggering for some. Okay. Time for my big point pants on, let's go. Starting right from the bed. Oh, it's just a little red wine. I'll be fine. Heard that before. Not like I want to do this every night. I've been good. Don't I deserve it? I think I earned it. Feels like it's worth it in my mind. My Feel like I deserve it in my mind I guess deserving of that feeling and we're starting off with uh, uh, let's say drug addiction and all that so it looks like starting off with alcohol and how she's feels like she deserves that drink that she wants to go out there and have and feel how she feels a lot of people feel differently when they're drinking they feel happy or they uh, forget about they become numb to their whatever's bothering them their emotions or what that thing that's bad in their life whether it's their job their family their relationship so okay i see what we're going a lot i hear you hear that a million times uh, that's with addicts or or even depression. Oh, I'm fine. Everything's good. We're cool. Yeah. Oh, we're having a blast. This is the best thing ever. And then they get home and they're like, how do I get through it? And then they need something to help them cope with whatever they just did. So. I was dancing with the devil. I don't even can see that. I got shaved. Um, but my hair is like sticking up. Like he when you hear, I don't know if that's an actual what's uh what happened, like an actual phone call that was into or an actual um from the news, but rest of the hospital after reporting suffering a heroin overdose, you hearing that, like it's real life, it's reality. She could be singing about it and telling you about it, but hearing something like that in that context, like whoa, kinda like makes it official. Uh, I don't know, it's kinda of this is a little white line I'll be fine oh. all right so now she's upgraded the wine wasn't enough. Now she needs a line. It's a, it's just a natural progression. It's... But soon that little white line is a little glass pie. Yeah. Next, next. Ten for a remedy. Almost got the best of me. I keep praying I don't reach the end of my life. Time.
okay. I think she said, I think I could walk away. I think I could quit it. Uh, that's probably been said a million billions of times before by a lot of people. And although I don't, I never had a problem with drugs or alcohol or anything, gambling or anything that, that people get really addicted to that could be, could cost you everything in your life or even your life. I did lose my best friend to drugs. He, we were friends for a long time and worked together. We did the whole nine and it, I, I watched drugs. It started off as just a recreation on the weekend and it got up to more and more and more serious stuff until it cost him his marriage, cost him everything he, all his money, cost him his career, his retirement all his personal belongings. He started hanging out with the wrong people and his whole life was drugs and how to get them, how to sell them, how to make more, to get more, to steal more. And he started going down that path. And he finally got help. He went away and came back a new man. And it was so refreshing to see how he went from this lifeless addict that had nothing. And it was just talking in circles and coming up with the most outlandish things and like dude this is not you and how he just turned it around and I'm like whoa you're back he went out there got, got himself a new girl kept him in line and he went out to get a new job and he got a job he was in school he was working he was doing everything he was supposed to do until that one day he had to go home stuck the needle in his arm and that was the last thing he did on this earth and it, it just watching how it pains his friends, his family, his loved ones, and everything else. It's 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 one thing. It's it's his. It's his life and what he did, but how it affects everything around that person as well. And sometimes you go out there and get help, but they come. You come back and you think you got it all figured out. Like oh, I just take one little hit. But that one little hit might have been something you've had in the past that you were used to. But that's enough to blow out your heart in one shot. Or it could be laced with something you, you don't even know. And that's it's, it's just the worst cycle and everything going on. I know uh, I, I haven't really shared much of that about him. And God rest his soul, rest in peace. And I just hope that if you do have this kind of problem, that you do seek help. I'll make sure somewhere in this video there is a number that you could call. Um, get yourself help and just know that if you do go to relapse, that could be your last time considering dosage and lacings and, and everything else. And just to go down that path and throw away all those nights that you've been striving to be drug free and going through those withdrawals and going on those medications. And I, I, I it's, I, I, you don't have to listen to me. It's just, I've seen it. I've seen a lot of people from my class who've passed away in other classes and other friends that have passed away for drugs and leaving families behind and so forth. So I, I just, if you are listening, I hope you do relate to the song and get that help you need.
más. I normally switch to the screens. I'll just leave this up there. Uh, if you need help or someone you know needs help, uh, it is okay to ask for help. And there's a number um, for US, UK, uh, Canada, and um, whatever country you are, if you're watching this from there, I, I can't list them all, um, but please seek something. Okay, now going on to uh, Demi. Uh, I, I guess they have, they do live in a different world. I know she had some problems with uh, bullying and and fame and gender and drugs and uh, I, I, just I, how does everything tie in? We'll never know. But uh, I guess the expectations once you're famous and how you have to live and your different rules and how you have to be so conscious of what you are, what you're doing, and how you portray yourself publicly and privately, and making sure that the private stuff stays private. I'm sure it's very overwhelming, um, and but we all have problems. We, you know what I mean? Ours aren't just for what concert we're singing in or what show we're going to go on and judge. Um, ours could be uh, we might not have money to put food on the table for our kids or our kids wanted to do something and we don't want to go on a trip and we can't even pay for it or college funds or your car we broke down and now you can't get to work and there's a million stressors that could go out to it and certain people can have that drink go out have a drink or two loosen up and then they're done they go right back to it right back to the grind but some people like my friend John he couldn't if I showed him something I'm like I'm, amp energy drinks were huge when it first first came out. I'm like, John, you gotta try this red one. And he's like, oh yeah. He would drink one, he's like, dude, that's really good. Next thing you know, he had like 10 a day, cause that's how he was. It was good, I had, I had that's it. That's all I could think of them, that's all I want. And he was ordering cases of them. That's just the, the addictive personality that he had. And you have to be careful with that. If you can focus that into your work or your career, that's great, because then you can put all your time and effort and money into succeeding and moving forward, but sometimes it's on your own demise. About the song, it's very passionate. Uh, I typically am not one to look in or listen to songs to help me get through things. I'm more of a, I'm a metalhead, so I'm listening to melodies and, and maybe some stories and some cool wordplay, and that's kind of where my uh, genre is. I, I, I'm glad I saw it, and I hope I could reach some other people and they could see that they're not alone. Uh, I, I gotta hear some more. Uh, I, I like seeing when uh, when people are famous like this that are more vulnerable. I think that really shows another side of them and shows that they're, they are human at the end of the day and shows that they do have their weaknesses, they do have their struggles and things do happen to them that they're not on this pedestal that they're perfect and their life's perfect. Yes, your money can buy you financial freedom and you could have no problems with that but you can have problems on the other side of the coin that other people would deal with and uh, I, I, I don't know I think I have to listen to more Dami I'm sure there's there's songs out there that I can listen to and I'm like oh I've heard that in passing or on the radio or on a show or or something like that but uh, well, if you have any other suggestions, if you like this video, please hit that like button, uh, leave comments, even if you just leave a heart, just to show love for Demi or for the channel or for the video, that'll help because I'm only asking because we can help spread the word and help get this out there even more. I think there's, uh, I think there's like 42 million views or something like that. So obviously it's, it's seen a lot of eyes, but even if we can see one person who needs to see that for that day, I think it'll all be worth it. So subscribe to that channel, hit the bell. Till next time.